Hey, Morningstar, uh, great weekend in worship as we, uh, as we came together and, and ended the, the flesh series and then had the opportunity to literally put flesh on the gospel with the great pumpkin festival that we had. What a tremendous, tremendous event. Uh, God once again came through and, and delivered a gorgeous day. Thanks to all the volunteers who showed up and, and really just you know made the body of Christ flesh in, in the world and loved on our community and served with, with joy. Thanks to Jill Carmichael and Jill, all your leadership team that just did a phenomenal job. Listen, we had 6,500 people attend the Great Pumpkin Festival. We had less than 5,000 yes last year. So that was just phenomenal. And it just felt great to be able to come alongside people, love on them, and put a different face on what they would normally tend to perceive the church to be. So uh, thanks for that. I, in, interesting contrast uh, this week. I, I was at the store and I bought several things and was in the checkout line and reached into my pocket. When I go into the, the store, I hate carrying a wallet. So uh, I'll tend to get my, my debit card or whatever card I'm gonna put it on and, uh, and put it in my pocket and, and just carry that, that one credit card and maybe my, my license and do my shop and then just pull it out. And, and so I'm in the line and the, the lady's you know, scanning my, my merchandise and I reach in my pocket and pull out my credit card. And she said, you know, you shouldn't do that um, because people will drop your, your, their, their card and, and you'll lose it that way. You need to have one of these things, these little uh, paper holders. And so it'll hit your hand and it'll, it'll be sharp and, and you won't lose it. You won't accidentally drop it. And I'm thinking, well, I've kind of done this for about the last seven years and not had any. I've kind of got my system down. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And, and I appreciate the, the, the heads up, though. I appreciate the, the lesson. And so uh, I, I paid for that. I actually had two orders. I had some birthday cards I was buying for, uh, for some staff people here at the office. And, and uh, she ran the, the two birthday cards through. And, and uh, she looked at the total and said, so oh my, $10. That's why I don't buy cards anymore. I, I actually go and I make my own cards. And I just print them off on the computer and I can say things that I want to. And people appreciate a, a personalized card much more than a store-bought one anyway. And then I just go to Office Max and print it out. It cost me less than $2. And, 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 and I wanted to say, wow, man, you got to have thick skin to come through your line, lady. Because um, I was just kind of like, wow, I, would, I was just kind of like made wrong twice on, on the way out. And, and, and I think about how our, our posture is when we make people wrong and what a position that puts the other person in when we, when we make them wrong. Whether we're talking about Jesus, our faith, or, or just how they carry their their credit cards or debit cards or or you know the cards that they choose to make greeting card birthday card just in life how we tend to show up and, and speak you know our opinions or our feedback into people's lives is that coming across as judgmental and condemning and you know I got a better way than you or hey you know here's something you might want to consider and and honestly um, my push, my challenge for me personally as I walk away from that experience is not to judge her in return and not to say, you know what, I won't go back through her line anymore, but, but actually to seek her out the next time I'm, I'm at that store, look through all the checkout lines, see if I can spot her and, and go and, and plant a seed of encouragement and, and actually thank her for the way that, that she spoke into to my life. So that's a challenge for me. My nature, my flesh is to run in a different way, but how can I show up differently to her the next time? Hey, uh, thanks for the ways that you've shown up this past weekend uh, at Great Pumpkin Festival. This weekend, we turn the page. We begin a brand new series. I'm gonna lay out the vision for Morningstar uh, the rest of this year and the next two years. And I hope that you will make a commitment not only to be the church through the week, but for these next five weeks, man, even through the end of the year as we enter and then into the Advent Christmas season to make worship a priority in your life. Be the church. I'll see you in worship this weekend. It's together we turn the page. God bless you guys.